Hello everyone, good evening, thank you for joining me uh, for some more Horizon Forbidden West. We're gonna keep going with the story. We've gotten through a little bit of it now, but we definitely have a lot more like uncovering to do of like what's going on. We're at a point where like we're about to go like investigate like a signal that we know has something to do with like the Zenith space people and we're very suspicious of them. And they've got a clone of, like, Aloy, who seems very different than our Aloy. And I wonder if, like, the two of them are ever going to be able to, like, speak or anything. Like, I I don't know. I know very little about them right now. And Aloy's just kind of trying to figure out how to, like, disable their shield. And we'd seen, like, one of them fight and, like, get killed and taken down. Somehow they managed to disable her shield and stuff. So we're kind of trying to, like, figure that out. We got Ether. And now we are doing the next quest because these ones are on hold at the moment. So the Demeter and Poseidon, I believe, are currently on hold. While we go, to, go do this one, the Cradle of Echoes main quest. And uh, it says, outside an ancient facility, Aloy, Erend, and Varl witnessed Tanakh the rebels wield a weapon that somehow disabled a Zenith shield. But what was the Zenith doing there in the first place? So it seems like they are possibly after Gaia or the sub-functions or like some maybe control of the Earth or something. There's some reason that they came all the way back apparently from Sirius, from like the place that they went and settled on with the whole Odyssey ship. And they kept that secret because apparently maybe they were planning on like coming back and taking over or something. Maybe they were trying to sabotage the whole project. Like I, I have a lot of questions for like what exactly is going on here that... I'm sure it will tell me at some point. So we've got some planning to do here. You're worried about the Forbidden West spoilers, but you don't think you'll get to it soon. Fair enough. I mean, if you want to play through it, it is a really fun game to play through, but it also does take a minute. So like, I get it. And there's a lot of games out there right now, but the DLC does come out in just a couple days. So I'm super excited for that. And I will definitely be playing that as soon as we get to it. <laughs> Okay, so we just left off right out here. I was kind of figuring we were about to start like a whole thing. So I guess let's go ahead and get into it. Also, I feel like for a game like this, having some knowledge of the game before playing it yourself might not necessarily be a bad thing as long as you like you know find out the knowledge in like a, a natural way not just like oh my gosh shocking headline spoiler you know because like the game is a bit complicated the story's a bit complicated so sometimes i feel like hearing it differently and sometimes at different times kind of helps you piece it together more at least for me I often like to play through things like a couple times if I really like the story and I'm trying to fully understand it because as you guys see, sometimes I miss little details here and there. I'm just always like that. It's not even necessarily to do with the fact that I'm streaming or not. Sometimes I don't always put together like, I, I don't catch all the details and put together all the pieces on like my first watch through of things. Like I don't always have that much focus on all of those details. <laughs> I just don't. Um, so sometimes it takes me a minute to really get invested, figure out what is going on. And then I kind of piece together all of the details a little bit better. So. I don't know. Sometimes I work that way a little bit more. Like all my favorite shows and stuff, I have to There's watch those kind at of least twice. <laughs> old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it Eleuthia. sent the distress signal. Maybe. Okay, so we're after the Eleuthia thing. Yeah, we heard the distress signal. This was not originally something that Gaia could track down. We're assuming it's some kind of, like, trap or something, but we don't really know what or why, and we kind of just have to go check it out anyways. Anything to find in here? I guess we just hop on down. No. No. Not this way. What about that? Ancient valuables box. You'd think there'd be a little bit more in there. 
the DLC end game. Yes. You'll definitely want to play through the whole game first before you get the DLC. Like, I, I'm also like needing to play through data first. Center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Okay, so let's see if we get kind of some sort of data or information. Like, we don't really know what's going on here. Varl, can you please move? Varl, I'm literally... Oh my gosh. There we go. Storage units accessed. Data transfer initiated. Operation suspended. Fusion reactor on standby mode. Download initiated. Beam cache initiated. Destination redacted. So someone downloaded something here and we don't know to where. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Hi, Aggie. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Okay. I feel like we're about to get into something here. I don't know what. Like, maybe? Maybe we just... This was a far zenith research lab. Okay. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. Yeah. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. Yeah. No, they transferred it. But then why were the Zenas still searching for it, the asset? Let's keep looking around. Yeah, what? So. Exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Fair enough. What are we looking for here? You'd hope there'd be some more information or data points or something left behind. Ectogenic chambers. Like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. I suppose it keeps for? on going. Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. I mean, yeah. From Daniel McGill to Claire Nguyen. Subject spoon fed. January 18th, 2065. Claire. Wish you'd been on the call with me with Zero Dawn. Whoever negotiated this deal with them was ingenious. A bunch of our old tech collecting dust in storage in exchange for a copy of all human knowledge? Talk about a bargain. And the guy heading up the Eleuthia subfunction, Patrick Brochard Klein? You could practically see sparkles in his eyes when he was bombarding us with follow-up questions to the ectogenic chamber's design. It was like we were waving catnip in front of him. Anyway, they're requesting additional material on nutrition delivery. High reps gave the go-ahead, so send over everything we have. Brochard Klein will probably pee his pants in glee. Dan. Yeah. So they gave the ectogenic chambers in exchange for the Apollo project. So that does exist somewhere. I wonder if the people will, in this world, will end up getting access to that knowledge or not at the end of this. We'll see. Um, let's look on this other side. There's also something over here. All this stuff. I wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything in that room, so I guess we just maybe try to drop down. This place is huge. 
Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. Yeah, what could they not find here? So, um, how is Aaron taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. He is. I like Aaron. <laughs> Zoe called him the very loud friend. Um, looks like there's <laughs> something down here. Getting a little bit lost. But I'm finding new things, so that's what matters. <laughs> Pretty hyped for the DLC. I know, I wish I could speculate like what it was going to be about or anything, but I need to finish the game first. <laughs> or at least get a lot farther along. <laughs> Fine. Okay, August 19th, 2064. Corrupted has seen a significant improvement, decreasing the time between touch-ups that commercially available treatments like Osmanthus's Rejuve gene require. As for Malik's team, the latest results from their neurophysiology experiments seem promising, and with the supplementary data provided by our Tokyo facility, we seem to be closing in on functional first-generation implants. Meanwhile, our friends in Zurich have sent over their findings on WBE. Mixed results. A couple of promising avenues, but anything bordering on real digital transcendence looks to be decades away, if not corrupted. Oh, they were just talking about, like, uploading everyone's mind online. Oh, that's trippy. Digital transcendence. They're like, yeah, no, we couldn't, we couldn't swing that yet. <laughs> what a trip. Anything I wonder... Might tell us what the asset is? What would be needed in order I don't to think so. make that real? Isn't that movie called Transcendence, the one with Johnny Depp from, like, years ago? Bowmance, thank you so much for your tier 3 sub. Thank you. How's it going? Welcome back. And thank you for resubbing. Hello. Thank you. Um, I don't know. The Transcendence movie, like, went into that, though. Like, uploading the consciousness and, like, at what point, like, is that you? And then, like, I think even the Soma horror game goes into that a lot from what I remember about that as well. I need to go back and play through that one again. Oh, my gosh. Um, thank you so much, though, Bowmans. It means a lot. Hope you're doing fantastic today. When am I streaming more, um, Dead Space 2? Probably Wednesday is my guess. Day after tomorrow. I think I'm gonna start Resident Evil 1 tomorrow and then play some more Horizon. I don't know. My main focus this week is on Horizon because of the DLC coming out, and I want to make sure that we can at least, like, get to the DLC soon. So, we'll see. Avatar does that, right? Well, sort of. That's more like transferring your consciousness to like another alive being versus like a digital thing. But I guess they make a digital copy of your mind in that universe. Like I think they go into that in, in, in like the new movie that just came out in the second one. Like they made a copy of the one guy's mind that who had died in like the first one, like the soldier dude. <laughs> Um, and then, like, bring him back, sorta? Hmm. Okay. Sorry, cat. It's good, it's good. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, the James Cameron one. Uh-huh. He was, yeah, a clone with the Navi DNA. Yeah, but they had, like, technically alluded to the fact that, that they had, like, copied his mind somewhere. So, like, I just wonder, like, what sort of technology would be needed. Like, at what point could we actually make, like, a faithful copy of someone's mind? And at that point... It's a copy. Like, it's 
not you. It's a copy of you. So like, yeah, it would, they they would think just like you, but make the same decisions theoretically. But it's a copy. And you would like diverge at a certain point. And that's what the Soma horror game gets into. They go into like the horror aspect of that. Gets dark. Um, I want to make sure that like I'm thoroughly looking around. And I also want to make sure I'm not like backtracking too much. Like, was I already here? I think I was already here. It's okay. I'm just gonna head towards the point. There we go. <gasps> so far ahead of you, you haven't played in probably a month. Are you planning on it before the DLC? Or maybe not. I'm trying to play through as much of the DLC as I can. Okay, so that's right. So I'm coming back here to this room. Let's just go run in the middle here. Sorry, your post on the Mario movie? Oh, honestly, I enjoyed it. I didn't... I I, I thought it was pretty fun. I don't know. I, I, I had fun just kind of laughing and, and watching it. I thought it was, like, enjoyable. Um, honestly, all of the actors did a better job than I thought they would have from, like, the criticism and just what I've heard online, you know? Just, oh, they're just doing their regular voices. Like, I don't know. Honestly, Seth Rogen kind of worked as Donkey Kong. I kind of... I, I kind of... It kind of worked. I thought it worked. Um... But, I don't know. I, <laughs> I would definitely recommend it if you guys think that you probably want to see it. I enjoyed it. It's pretty, you know, it's kind of short. It's not like a crazy, fe long feature film or something. Um, it, like, gets to the point. It doesn't, like, it doesn't, like, really waste time. And it's just kind of fun to see the references to the different games and stuff. So, I don't know. I thought it was cute. <laughs> you hate the PS5 controller? Oh, no. That's unfortunate. It took me a minute to get used to. It definitely did. I like it now, but it, it took me a moment. I was I was being a little bit stubborn. It was also just the main fact that it was like making my hands sore, like holding a different controller. I was like, this is different. <sighs> Hi, Edgar. Hello and welcome. You need to see it. Gotta see if you can beat the 93 movie. I never saw that one. I don't know. I, I thought it was enjoyable though. As far as video game adaptations, that's probably like how you do it. Probably. I did not go for the 3D or the 4D. No, no, no. Um, but it was on... It wasn't quite IMAX, but it was like a big screen. I don't know. It was nice. Would recommend. Let me know if you guys have seen it, what your thoughts are. Okay, anyways. The world! We're trying to save the world. That's important. Aloy's just always, like, saving the world. And then all these people, they're like, Yeah, so I know that you're, like, saving the whole world and everyone, but like, could you help me with my personal problem? And Aloy's like, yes, I can, fine. I will do it, and then I'll save the world. And Silas is like, any day now. I actually saw that the name Silas is starting to like rise as like popular baby names, which I thought was kind of interesting. I think it's a cool name. I wonder if it has anything to do with this game series or not. Um, but I just, I don't know. I'm like, huh. A control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Oh, well, let's find out. Oh, I can't break the glass. Oh, I'm disappointed. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'll use the door. Like a regular person. It's fine. Is there gonna be nothing in here? There's not even anything in here. Okay, that sounds about right. See, if they just left the window open, then I would have known that. Oh my. Fierce, welcome on in. How's it going? Yes, we do like our witchy things here. Definitely need a tarot card stream again soon. I know I've been saying that a while. I need to get that organized. 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, uh, how do I know which one? 
in the log. Which one? Which log was that? Two thirty-seven. Beware. Okay, I found it. Not too bad. Two hundred and thirty-six containers in storage. Please enter the container. It said two thirty-six. Well, we want two thirty-seven. Here we go. Wish us luck. They put her in cryo sleep there? What? Okay, that's not Aloy. What I was expecting. It's you. <laughs> He's like, what? She's like, oh jeez. Skin's like ice. Yeah, she's frozen. For how long, I wonder. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Cut it from her head? Elizabeth, uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. Oh. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, oh. I, I may be dead. Oh, she wants to escape. Be oh. careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia kernel to merge them with. Okay. Got it. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. What? Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Yeah, it's Erend. Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. Interesting. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I was just saying, I, I wonder if they're gonna meet. through to Varl and the clone. I was assuming, like, if she's any clone of Elizabeth, she's not gonna just be, like, cool with Zenith just taking over the world. You know? So. Here it comes! What? Oh. Spectre. Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? All right, let's get started today. Oh, I fight this thing. Okay, hang on. Uh, that's that's a specter. Mobile combat drone. Its gold armor-like plates can morph into highly lethal weapons and can gravitationally reattach when torn off. Cool. So I need to do acid damage or plasma damage is what that's telling me, correct? All right, let's try some acid damage. I should get Oh, that thing's quick. Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh. 
Okay, let's just do the Valor Surge and try to hit it. Let's, let's, we, we got this. We're gonna hit it, right? Let's just smack it. Hey, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Oh, now we're dying, we're dying, it's fine. that I can't quite dodge as fast as I often think I can dodge. It's okay. No. Okay, my Valor Surge is gone. No more reasons to hit it. the multiple arrow notch. Let's try to just go for the armor. There we go. Those things are kind of tough. There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Yeah, so hopefully other Aloy's all right? Her clone? Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. Shoot the glowy. Did it have a weak I spot? I just hope Aaron stays in cover. I was having a hard time telling where its weak spots were. What are we coming up on? Varl, we good? Aaron said they were flying in. Wonder if I'll get to see that. Aloy! Ah. Aaron! Yeah, the Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Um, that's Hang not tight. good. I'm almost there. Just hurry. I'll save you. Sounding like really casual. He's like, hey, I'm like about oh, to die. Sound good. I gotta get to Aaron. A little help, please. Aaron, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. He's not dying, he's fine. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. After you speared it a bunch, it had a blue glow orb on its leg. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can try that here. From that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it. As I stand at its line of fire. Sneak around behind it. It'll be a tough fight to take that thing head on. Okay. Do my best to be stealthy. Is that a heavy weapon? Heavy weapon. Yes, I could it use is. it against the Spectre. Picked up five heavy weapons. Nice. Let's make that many more. Run behind it. Nice and sneaky. Shield down! It's on the move! There we go, got a critical strike. Okay, now I now I pick that back up. It was electrocuted for a second, I see, and then it just picked its armor back up. Okay. 
I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, ow. Ow. Can we can we stop doing that? Can we not? Goodness. Okay, yeah, let's go with the bolt blaster. It seems to be working. I think fun. Thing is out to get me. Oh come on, it's like one. It's done. There we go. Things are high tech. I still don't fully understand them. It's okay. Aloy, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Could you imagine meeting a well, clone of yourself for, that you didn't know existed? You two, go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. I'd be so interested to see how they were like me. Like, are you are you weird like me? If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenus won't be so invincible after all. Hmm. Okay, tear damage doesn't do damage in itself. Noted. Hey, Noven Rider, good to see ya. Everything is high tech, and this guy walks in with the big hammer. Yeah. Aaron doesn't do high tech. I guess he does now. No. That's unfortunate. Worry, Meg. Thank you, one second. Well, it's better than nothing. Is that like a core or something? You guys, we can we get, to some... get the weapon frag? Can we get some hype, please? Some hype. Thank you so much for gifting sub to the community. Seriously, thank you, Mori Mech. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for the support. You guys, if you got a sub, enjoy the emotes, hanging out here with this, the community, the stream. Thank you. Guys, amazing community. Seriously, so grateful. Thank you. I'm into Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenith. Oh, so it just I took me back to the base. Check on the clone, too. Burl. Check on the clone. Our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the Karcha. Why? Yeah, it beats me. To look How pretty, Aaron. You not understand? To my people and the Tanakh. Do you want some makeup? I think you Aaron? Does. You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now. <laughs> well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. Fair enough. What you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Yeah, it reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Uh, Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. Maybe don't it put it on yourself. It ended like a lot of us around things do. With a spark and a boom. <laughs> okay. That's kind of dark. <laughs> what are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two 
lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. Am I eating Cheeto Puffs? They're the... They're the Trader Joe's version, but yes. <laughs> They're very good. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. Oh. So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. <laughs> but it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much. How's she doing? Let's make sure we talk to everyone. Aloy, you're back. Yeah, I'm just, uh, checking up on how everyone's I doing. I like this feature. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines. Our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Make us whole again? I've been playing too much Dead Space. Watch out, Aloy. Don't go down that rope. <laughs> That's a bad, bad path. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. I bet those Stormbirds would honestly be pretty terrifying, just like flying around in the event of a storm, just like possibly murdering people. Just adding to like... Like storms are a little like a little spooky. You're like, oh no, storm! And then that'd make it actually scary. You said you met Beta. Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. She probably hasn't much. I need to get going. <laughs> May the land bloom in your steps. Sounds like she grew up in space. But what did she grow up like? It's like it seemed like they were very like Aloy. protective of her. There are more supplies in the chest. I don't think she help yourself. Had a normal life. Okay, I'll take the stuff. Thank you. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Okay. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Why don't you check it out? Oh, this was... Oh, this was their room. Excuse me. Oh. That's Zoe and Varl's room. Stay. Oh my. Where'd Catalo go? Do I have anything to bring here? No. Yeah, where is Catalo? Hello. I have to get the weapon fragment to Gaia first. And check on the clone. You're doing this for the team, Aaron. Come on. Check on the clone. I don't know, from Aloy's language, it Looks doesn't like sound some of the holograms are working now. Like she's stoked. <laughs> I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful warm up. Fair enough. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, but I must ask. The woman Varl and Aaron brought in, she's 
related to you. Uh, it's hard to explain. Um, she's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. Uh, fair enough. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. You said you were training with the focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. Fair enough. Getting Aether out of the Grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path. For it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Wish we got to hang out Briefly. with her more. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. <laughs> She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. <laughs> Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. I'm appreciating this dialogue they feature. To push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. It feels more alive. Impressive. Like, it feels like, you know, they're actually interacting with each other, the story's progressing. On your way, then. They actually comment about the things we do. I like that. That's cool. Aloy. Hello. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. We got this. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I what? don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. Oh. The brain, especially the cerebellum, oh. goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Oh. Everything real feels unreal. Distant. Oh. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. I hope we can trust her. Booting up. I hope so. I wouldn't be sure, but I'd like to think so. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information about you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago. That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. She so far, Zenith established a colony world after all. She doesn't yes, know. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Oh. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants, it, it, it's them. What? The same ones who left Earth a thousand oh. years ago. You didn't know? No? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. Okay. Yeah, she's I like a prisoner. I spent studying in my training interface. Also, that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. 
But I don't think the Xenus want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. Of course they do, yeah. My questions is how much does Silence know about this? This is the clone, yeah. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Guy and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. Yikes. It's them. It's literally the same people that left. That's kind of terrible. Oh, so they've clearly learned nothing. Awesome. And they've just been living for like a thousand years. Cool. The Xenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. Yeah, that's what they were trying to do the whole, like, last game when they were trying to reboot everything and Hades and stuff. Okay, and then I think Silence is trying to figure that out. Obviously, I don't think he wants the whole planet to be terraformed and taken over by the space people. I don't think that's in his best interest either, so... I don't know what his best interest is, though. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. Oh, they really? controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. Hmm. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when Hello, the Zenith pinpointed me. Olivia's Thank location you. in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bainus dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. That's the question. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Eleuthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. Okay, so she's thinking. You mentioned the Xenus set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars, it, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. 
You said the Zenith colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? Yeah, what happened there? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. Natural disaster. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The maybe? Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only uh, thing that mattered was that they survived. Yeah, no, they definitely caused that. First Earth, <laughs> a thousand years ago, and then... Yeah, Sirius. no, they definitely did that. Okay. Guess they survived old age, too. So you know about the extinction signal. It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have yeah. only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. <laughs> Yay, there's two of us. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. Hmm. Yeah, forcefully, or sneakily, probably. Probably without her knowledge. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? Yes. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only it was, what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay, that's interesting. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or so how long? You know, your, your your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So, well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have a Festus already? No. Guy's still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. What? Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. Uh-oh. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything, everyone, they're going to die. Hey, y you good? Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay, well. See if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. I don't think Aloy knows for chemistry. How'd it go? Fair, I don't even know if I know her my chemistry. injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be but natural. I would know more than Aloy, hmm. so fair enough. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Welcome. I will definitely be playing the DLC. I'm just trying to uh, to finish this game for the first time, and then we'll play the DLC as soon as we're done. Hi, William. Welcome. How's it going? William, this is not the DLC. DLC comes out in a few days. We're preparing for the DLC. This is the main game still. 
that something? Okay, I keep wondering if I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something through the wall. It's glitching. Keep your focus acting up again. That's fine. Aaron's like, just hit it and then it works. Sound logic, honestly. Welcome back. Hello, Gaia. Yeah, so we're at the point where now, yeah, we're turning in this Cradle of Echoes quest. We have gotten Ether, and now we still need to go get Demeter and Poseidon. But we have other, other things first. But we're a bit we're a bit sidetracked by by the main quest, though, so it's a good thing. Good hey, sidetracking. Lord. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The yeah. weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. The beacon. Complete. Hello, Meridia. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. To the explosion. A new hand touches the beacon. I knew the moment I said that, I was like, uh oh, I said it, I said it, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> that beacon. <laughs> Thank you, DPG. Oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> We found the beacon today. Don't worry, everyone. The moment there it is. the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Oh, it wiped itself? Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Yeah, did he have something Based to do with on that? Your data on him, right? That is my conclusion. Yeah, that was as my well. first thought. And he's not going to cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. What did he find? But that's not all. The Zenith got Eleuthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Fair enough. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Silence's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. Looks like Guy has hey, something Gaia. else to say. Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume? About the old world. Yeah. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Kernel, it used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. Huh. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with, too. Yes. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there. One not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It yeah. was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project. And it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Mm. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. 
right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. Oh. Bummer. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. Interesting. This is all cool info. I know name hello. Yeah, apparently the DLC is only going to be able to run on PS5s. Yeah, it's it's only going to be released for the PS5 due to like they're they're going a little bit more technically advanced with it apparently so it will not be able to run on the older consoles which is rough especially if you have horizon on there they're like mm, nope it's tough because like i get it they don't want their like dlc to be limited by like hardware but like that's that's tough i don't yeah i don't know what you do in that situation there was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark buried under a bunch of boulders any idea how it got there during the Pharaoh Plague, the U.S. military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley, until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. Yep. That's nice. That's happy. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. Oh. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. Interesting. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yeah, yes. Ted. Friggin' Ted Pharaoh. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. They would have had a cool setup if it hadn't it all gotten messed up. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. Okay, so if I'll I go keep a look out. get those drones, what she's saying. Got it. Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend. Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. Oh, yeah. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. The only one who could. Thanks, guys. Gives me so, like Morden had to be me Project vibes. Zero Dawn. The greatest minds in the world. All working to build the terraforming system while the Feral Plague devoured the planet. What was it like? Personnel worked in rotations at all hours of the day. Resources and technology were secured from across the world. Within a month of the project's conception, I was launched and began my education. 
Elizabeth encouraged me to spend time with the rest of the Zero Dawn staff. She said it was important to experience many personalities and perspectives to aid in my emotional development. What were they like? Scared. Hopeful. Determined. They were hurtling toward technological achievements on a scale never before attempted. I owe everything to their dedication. Interesting. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... Not what I expected. Different than Aloy. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. <laughs> and less pessimistic. Fair enough. It is true she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. That's true. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. That's true. She's probably just very scared. How's Catalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. Oh? I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. Oh. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can, then. It's okay, I was also late to the PlayStation party. I had my first PlayStation this year. Got it, what, in February, I think it was? January? February? For the first time. It's been great. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Okay. Well, keep at it. Very important to her. I am preparing for Burning Shores. I'm trying to catch up a little bit. Would you guys estimate, like, how much of this game I'm through? Am I, like, halfway through yet? I would assume I'm at least, like, somewhere in the halfway vicinity, but I don't know if it's, like, we're approaching halfway, like, we're there, like... You only say it 33%. Okay, I mean, fair enough. We have a ton of the map still, so... More than halfway. I figured I was gonna get some different conflicting opinions for this, for sure, so... Guess we'll see. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to- Yeah, if we don't do the side quests, that I should clarify, right? If I was 100%ing the game, probably a lot closer to like 33, but yeah. I would guess going through the main story about halfway. Okay, that, that would make more sense. More 33% you say? Okay. Alright, we'll see. I'm enjoying the story a lot. We're gonna go do some of the side quests, but we're not gonna do all of the side quests in this game. It's not really my my main focus and like my main enjoyment. I'm mostly just like really enjoying the stories. Some of the characters are really cool. Some of the side quest characters are cool as well. So we'll see. A dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. Incident? What did he do? <laughs> he unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to <laughs> affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. He has given repeated dainty. assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. <laughs> okay, I think... I won't ask all of these right now, but I do want to ask about their immortality. What's the deal so with that? So the Zeniths are the same people who left Earth. 
physically immortal. How'd they figure it out? From what we know of Far Zenith, it is plausible that prominent geneticists and engineers were offered a place aboard the Odyssey in exchange for their expertise. Given enough time, technology, and resources, any challenge can be overcome. Like how Fair Minerva enough. eventually generated the deactivation codes for the Pharaoh Plague. Mm hmm Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Old school. Oh, there's a way to check. Thank you. Well, that will tell us. I'll check that in a moment. Um... You got the platinum. Takes a long time. Oh, I would imagine. I would imagine. No, I'm just... Uh, we'll see how many side quests we end up doing. I don't know. I want to do, like, the main ones that seem, like, worth it and seem interesting. This Zenith. is interesting dialogue. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. Yeah, who were they? Do you know anything about them? Unfortunately... No. My personal database is limited to those who worked on Zero Dawn. Additionally, it appears Far Zenith was quite secretive about their members. Only one, Oswald Dalgard, was ever publicly known. Right. He was the spokesperson back at their old launch facility. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. Yes. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. And they probably ruined their last planet from what it sounds like. Okay. I guess I should get... Let's As go. You say. So, time to get over to Poseidon. They recommend to do all the quests and upgrade. Fair enough. I'll try to do what we can. It's just what, mainly what makes sense to do. I know. It makes you want to punch something. Speaking of side quests, More like there is something one. I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. Sure. We're we're just saving the world, but it's fine. She has one more line you of dialogue said you here. Set up, yep. I did. I literally already news of my whole disagreement this, didn't with I? the chorus spread through the plains. Must be slightly different. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on, but we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron. Okay, interesting. You said you wanted to talk about the Lango? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, uh, Reboot Code. If we deliver it to the Land Gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Love the way she speaks. Unless the code is if given we deliver by the Hephaestus, code. the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then... Use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. You Ooh, said you no, 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 I, I already I asked her about that. That's not what I was meaning to do. I'll let you... Good. Okay. I did want to go look at, yeah, game progression. <laughs> oh, yeah, we haven't even done all that much. Oh, my gosh. Of, like, the whole game. All right. Never mind. Now we still have a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I 
Game's impressive. Okay, so... I want to start moving down this way. I guess we can just go run over there. Sure, let's run. I can feel this frost down to my bones. So pretty. Really is a nice view. Like, look at that. Like Aloy checking out the, the snowflakes. <laughs> Sorry, Aloy. Oh yeah, I forgot you have a glider. I'll try to maybe actually use that. Got a rumor here? Let's see. I feel like we've already heard this one. I see you, champion. Sit, please. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. There's a place there where the ground is made of metal. Don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Be the wary. ground is made of metal. Okay. Appreciate the warning. Oh, it's a cauldron. Oh, nice. Metal? That might be a cop. What's he got? He you know, looks like he's got some interesting different weapons. Ice Storm Bolt Blaster. Could be upgraded to inflict extra damage to targets at long range. Could be kind of cool. Could get that. There's also this. Augmented to improve the Resonator Blast Melee technique. Oh, I'm gonna get that. Can I also get the weapon still? No, not anymore. I don't have enough now. I'll have to get that later. I think it's worth it for the outfit. Yeah, that one was not bad, but I think this one will be better. Did it weaves? It's like a melee defense. And where there's a cauldron, there's machine overrides. You like the weapon and ammo variety in this bad. game? It's cool. They even Always like built upon the last game and even expanded it a little bit more. I like all the different perks and stuff that you can take as well. It's a little bit overwhelming Aloy, sometimes, but I like it. You know? Fallout 4, I couldn't quite fully get into, to be honest. I played like 20 or 30 hours of Fallout 4, and then I never really touched it again. Um, it was a fun one, but I don't know. It wasn't quite giving me the same sort of Skyrim feeling, you know? If you're in need of provisions, I recommend stopping by Salt Bite. A village north of the grove. Their cook's meals give a soldier strength like nothing else. And who knows? Maybe they could use your help too. Okay, thanks. Katalo. Maybe I'll check it out. Thanks. I think that bird just flew into the ground. You guys see that? It's fine. I'll gather these while I can. Upgrade bench. No, that's our stash. Was there an upgrade bench? Yes. Like, this looks like the kind of place that's going to have that. Um, spike thrower. Higher hunter bow. Is that what I use? Am I using that one? I think so, right? Yeah, so these are the ones that I'm using. Okay, and then these are upgraded. That's what that symbol is. I'm trying to just figure out all the symbols here. What am I using the most? I do use that sharp shot bow a lot, but of course I don't have the upgrades for that. Um, the hunter bow, yeah. 
burning enemy damage. Interesting. Tripcaster, Bolt Blaster. I've also been using this Acid Warrior's bow a lot. Yeah, I've been using it a lot. Let's upgrade it again. And, sure, big upgrade. Wait, you guys. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I was upgrading this one. Ah! I'm reloading. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. <laughs> I'm not doing that. No, I just spent like a bunch of really good resources on the old bow. No, 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 no. Sit with me, Outlander. Oh, I didn't even save it the other one. Oh my gosh. I didn't even save at the campfire. I'm terrible at this. Oh my gosh. That's all right. Everything's fine. <laughs> Heard the Can you tell I'm super on it today? Rebels by the coast, west of the grove. If you're still helping the chief handle those scabs, you might want to talk to Cregella at yes, Tide's okay. Reach. Thank I you. I made it out there. I'll see what I can do. She didn't even tell me about the cauldron this time, did she? Oh, that's annoying. That's Keep okay. Keep your eyes open out there, soldier. If you walk back. Oh my gosh, I'm a fool. You'll miss out fool. on a good trade. <laughs> oh, is there maybe an autosave I could load? I said from save. That should have been the last save. That's all good. Is Katalo gonna call us this time? No, he's not gonna tell us about the sweet recipe? No. I bet this green channel fetch That's price. what I get. Creating the wrong thing. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the upgrade system. It's just like more parts and things to have to like collect and like coordinate and like manage. And they're just like a bunch of different random parts for all these different random weapons. It's not like my favorite, but like it's fine. I'm not like gonna complain about it or anything, but it's just like, I feel like they could have made this slightly easier, but it's all good. Okay, this is what I was trying to upgrade, not that. Gosh dang it. I'm getting confused because you see how there's two different symbols, like see on this one that I have highlighted now, it's got both symbols, but this one just has the one symbol that says it's equipped but not upgraded or whatever. It's, and then I thought that one was the one that I had equipped, not this one, like oh my, oh my. Okay, anyways, I wanted to upgrade the hunter bow mainly. And then, might as well do the spike thrower. Could upgrade the spike thrower again. I'll think about it, because I could end up getting a better one. I'll upgrade the bolt blaster. Right, it could be just like a little bit less complex. Just like, just a tad. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, it's, it's stuff to collect for some weapons gets crazy to find. Just for a game that's not, for a game for me that I'm more focused on, like, the story versus, like, the combat. You know, versus, like, a Souls game or something, you know, like, Bloodborne. Like, obviously I'm focused more on, like, the combat than, like, the story. That would work a little bit better, but just, like, more story focused. Like, yeah, I don't want to have to go hunt down machines for, like, days. But it's fine. That's why we're playing on, like, a slightly easier difficulty and, uh... We're just, we're mainly focusing on being strong enough to kill things, but... Mainly just progressing through the story. Just started Ghost of Tsushima and started collecting everything not knowing why. <laughs> That's another one that seems like a whole game and a whole universe that would probably take a lot of time to get into. I don't know if I'm ever going to play that one. We'll see. Maybe eventually. Maybe if they come out with like a sequel or something. Are they going to do that? That seems like a really good part to use right here. I don't know if I'm going to use that. I only have one. I think we're fine for now. I do want to upgrade my outfit, though. Stalker Stealth Generator. See, also, not only do you need, like... Like, look at this real quick. Like, look at the... Let me hide the camera real fast. I need three of those things in order to upgrade that. Like, that's... That's not nothing. We'll get there. Okay, any pouch upgrades that I can do? Doesn't really look like it. 
food pouch, bolt clip satchel, spike holster. Guess I'll do that one. Okay, my bad. I thought I saved here earlier. <laughs> I will open my stash though and restock. Perfect. You'll beat Elden Ring one day, you promise. Fair enough. When the inspiration strikes. Started playing Ghost of Tsushima, many side quests, back and forth, got you in not interested. See, that's the thing with this sort of game, is like, I want to make sure that I stay on track with the main quest, especially for like a first playthrough. I feel like a lot of these side quests and like completing the whole game is going to be more of like a new game plus sort of focus for me for a game like this. Because I'm still trying to just like understand the story and everything. It feels like I need to understand the full story before I like really dive into like the full world, take more time to just like explore like the smaller aspects of the world and like more minor characters and stuff. Like it, it kind of takes me a minute because I kind of want to stay focused on like what I'm here for. Otherwise, I don't know with all this, especially with all the different games and stuff I'm playing. If I take too long to go through a game without like keeping up with like the main quest, I really start to forget. And I start to, like, lose that, like, emotional connection that I have, you know? So, I'm doing my best to stay on track as much as we can and just do the side quests that are interesting to me. Like, I will probably want to go do that side quest that we just got from Zoe. Because that one sounded kind of interesting. I don't know where that one was. Problem is, a lot of these random side quests that we're getting also are just, like, really far randomly, like, out on the map in like some kind of random places. Talk to Talana at the Osirum camp. Like, let's go do that quest next. And then maybe we'll go to that Talnek, and then we'll probably go to Poseidon. Like a salvage camp over there, rebel camp. This map is impressive. Okay, we'll keep going. Yeah, it comes down to how many hours a day you play and if it's every day and stuff. Oh, totally. Well, it's hard for me too, just how many games I've been like rotating through and I've been kind of focused on like some other games, but now I want to focus on this one a little bit more, especially with the DLC coming out. And just with the story getting more interesting, I kind of want to just stay focused on it, you know? Problem with this type of game, exactly. If you just do the story, you end up being under level. You at least need to do some of the side quests. You definitely do. Agreed. You don't have to do all of them. You don't. But you do have to do some of them. And that is part of why I did want to play on like a slightly easier difficulty from the standard. Um, like I don't need just story mode or anything, but... Ooh. What is that little creature? It's cute. I'm sorry, I shot it. It's a horned lizard. Oh, I wish it could have been my pet. Unfortunate. Map is huge and more unlocks as you play. And then there's going to be a whole DLC area. Okay. We're going to get there. Looks like I've got a lot to do this week. And tonight. We'll be here for a good amount of hours. Grace? Oh, they definitely don't sound like rebels. How dizzy would that make you? Do you see how- tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. What do you mean left behind? You mean are still making? Is, is it going this way? It looks like it's going this way. Gosh dang it, that's back the way I came from. But what is this? I don't know what track I'm following. In the first rise and you played the mega death mode first try you did regret it but made it through eventually <laughs> you didn't change it you were like nope i'm stubborn i'm sticking with it also am i doing this right am i supposed to be following this i don't really know why i'm following this and why they're just running in small circles around me i don't feel as if they are supposed to be doing that but that's okay where am I going? I'm just going back the way I came from. Am I going up 
here, probably? I don't know. Let's find out. The machine riders from before. The ones who were racing. Wonder what they're up to. I won the race! Hey! I wonder. The completionist and you got every possible weapon and outfit? Oh, that's awesome. Burned yourself out for a while trying to gri grind for upgrade resources? I bet. I bet. It, it seems like it gets a bit grindy if you want, like, everything and everything fully upgraded. There's a lot of different weapon types, and you need, like, a lot of parts, like, really specific. It is a lot. You threw a rock in my face. It's not like you can get any uglier. Oh. Ha ha. Riding machines, huh? Who taught you to do that? Hey, squad. We got someone with a death wish here. Oh, uh, yeah? Whoa. Look at that hair. What? Someone get a little lost in the desert? Rex, stop being impressed. Hey, hey, what's that thing the Easterners keep saying we do? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all drink blood here, right? Maybe we should drink yours. You can try. Is that a challenge? Is Pull it? your blaze, Chosek. I don't think you want to test your luck with Hikaru's new champion. We have no business with you, Outlander. I think we all had our fun. Road's right over there. Okay. Those machines used to be regalas. But you don't look like holdouts to me. Who are you? How'd you get these mounts? Around here, you want something, you race for it. Thank you so much for subbing. You cross that finish line first. I'll answer any questions you have. Hey, oh, they want to race? You got a mount? Race is full. Is it? Is it full? You sure about that? Actually, I think a spot just opened up. <laughs> All right. What are the rules? <laughs> Don't die. Don't die. This ought to be good. Shut up, Pekka. This way, fresh meat. Let's get you that mount. Oh, we're gonna go? Okay. That's kind of fun. No name, th seriously, thank you so much for resubbing. Hope you've been enjoying the streams, hanging out here with us tonight, and having a good evening. <sighs> okay, so we gotta find a mount, right? Or can I just call one? Hey, Lloyd. You here to join the raid? I'm ready. I definitely know how to control this thing. I'm ready. Do I need to get off first? Looks like I need to maybe get off a bit. Uh, hey, hello. I see you carry a bow. Against the other racers? They will if you don't. We put everything on the line when we get on that track. You, uh, oh. It's worth something. Okay. You test run the track if you want to. Just, I mean. Test the track. To practice the all right, let's. All yours. Oh, give me a different mount. Okay. <laughs> Rude. It didn't like my buddy. Okay, it just gave me controls. I did not. I did not listen to all the controls. I'll be honest. It said something about like bracing. Okay, so you can, like, pick things up. Interesting. Gauntlet stun arrows to stun other riders or knock them off their mounts. That's interesting. This should be fun. Okay, all right. I'll be ready after this. Yeah, we can like slow it down. Okay. All right, I'm gonna be ready. It's kind of long. Slow down other mounts. Weapon wheel unavailable, okay. So you don't really get access to, to seeing the stuff. 
Oh, wait. Thought the quest marker was behind me. I was like, uh-oh. We're just still going. Can I... Okay. Uh, abandon the race? I don't know. I guess I could just see... Does it just keep going? What does that do? Ram barriers at high speed to smash through them. Recover. Interesting. So maybe, like, don't do that? So I think that's bracing myself, right? This is a long track. Are we ready? I think I'm ready. Do I need to abandon the race, or is this going to end anytime soon here? Mario Kart in the Horizon universe. It sounds great. We're almost done? This thing is just going. I kind of want to finish it out just to see how long it is. Mario Kart night, anyone? So let me see. So I think if I brace... Yeah, if I brace, then we're good. And here we go. Right? Yes. Now that you've got some practice. I am now ready. Are we ready? Can we get some hype? I think I'm ready. If not all pickups are ammo. Some are speed boosts. Haha. -ha. All right, let's go for it. I'm ready when you are. See you on the other side. The green sacks. Okay. Green is good. Green means go. All right, Mario Kart Horizon time. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! Ah! Oh, they're just they're they're going for it. Ah! No! I ran over the pig. Gonna bring you down. Okay, come on, recover, recover. Ah! I'm bracing. I'm bracing. They're not gonna get me. Okay, so I gotta watch out for the speed boost pickups. Gotcha now! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, I'm out of control! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! I veered off course! Oh no, I've fallen behind. It's okay, it's okay, we're gonna catch up. We're gonna catch up, we're gonna catch up. Alright, we just gotta start taking them out is what we gotta do. <laughs> Move! Move! I'm bracing! I don't know exactly even what this does. Move! All right, I'll get you then. Come on. Come on, we're gonna go this way. Come on, Aloy, stick with it. Go! Gotcha. There we go. Gotta be taking him out. All right, we've made it to the front somehow. Somehow. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I should have gone for the other one. That was speed, right? Okay, hang on. No, no, get up, get up, get up. That one's speed. No! Watch out. All right, we got a little bit more. Oh, nope. Keep going. Keep going. Gotcha. Come on. Is 
Stay back behind me! Yeah. There we go. All right, now we gotta make sure we stay in the lead. Gotcha now! Gotcha! Nice. <laughs> I won! That was fun. Here, your prize for winning the race. You earned it. I think you owe me some answers. Name's Atta. As for how we got these mounts, most of us here used to be rebels. Joined Regala's army thinking we'd get a chance to fight in a real war against the Karja. Instead, Regala slaughtered our own in cold blood, barren life. Oof. When we made it back to camp, we snuck out on our mounts and never looked back. Been racing the clan lands ever since. Decided we were better off on our own. No rules, no chiefs. Just the speed of our mounts and the taste of blood. Doesn't sound too bad, I guess. Where's your quiet friend? The one with the mask. He didn't join the race. He gave up his spot so you could join. Probably for the best. What makes you say that? That one hasn't lost a single race. Oh my. Thought you would have gotten your answers if he stuck around. Maybe. You know, Hax found a spot to set up a race at the farthest end of Lowland Territory, right by the beach. Make your way there. Maybe there'll be a spot waiting for you. Okay. If I'm in the area. I'll think about it. Hey, Loy. You here to join the race? Fun. Looks like I can do it again if I want. <laughs> Am I planning on playing Baldur's Gate 3? I honestly have no idea. I don't really know much about that series. So, maybe? <laughs> nice going for my first race. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully the next one will be better. Maybe, like, a little bit less out of control. Perhaps. Maybe. Unknown rebel outpost. There's, like, so much random stuff to go explore. <clears throat> um, okay, so I guess we just go head back down? We could go clear out, like, the rebel camp or something. Could think about that. That's sort of on the way. I mean, let's just start running. Onwards, noble steed. Okay, noble steed has run into a pole on the ground. That's it's too much. Too much to handle. Okay, wait, so if I wanna go do this, I think I go this way. Hey Matters God, yes it is, it's a chain for the strap. Thank you. Hope you're having a good one. It's a nice sunset. I haven't seen a sunset in a while. We'll do a good old save right here. I didn't mean to do a manual save, but sure. Try to go be sort of, sort of sneaky. Don't soldier warn me about them. Whatever they're doing, it can't be good. So, all right, who we have in here? Got a person. Got a person. Those people are a little too far away to mark what it looks like. Oh, that one's not. right in the face. Apparently didn't do much damage. I think I've spotted something. Quite an impressive camp. Both. I like all the colors on them. Once again. Oh, 
going in. I don't think he is okay. Burning through ammo quickly! I've got her in my sight! Death won't come swiftly for you! Oh, it won't? Unfortunately, you might. Firing now! Go after her! Come on, Aloy. Let's move a little faster. Oh. I'm in. If I want to figure out what's going on here, I need to find whoever's in charge. Who's in charge? I'm just starting with you! Right in the knee. <laughs> um, who? Oh, hi. <clears throat> Not what I meant to do right there. Everything's great. Don't worry about it. I used oh, to be an adventurer that like you. So loud. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Oh my gosh, I need to turn that window. <laughs> Hello, Skyrim Guard. Thank you. My knee. Just taking Skyrim Guard inspiration. Maybe don't do that though if you actually want to live. I've seen too many incidents of Skyrim Guards. I think this, this is where I was when I fell off. It was like right here. The guy go who was over here. That's see. hurt there. <laughs> we have the mobilize. <laughs> These guys are friendly. See, that was a good power attack and a good kill move. Aloy's getting fancy now. There. I was just about to try to blow up their barrel thing, but I guess it's also how it can go. There we go. Back up, back up. I thought that was going to be an explosive barrel. It was not. <laughs> Performed three melee combos. All right, I got a combo right there. Only three? That's all I've done. I really am bad at these combos. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Sometimes they're hard to, to get on the machines, though. A lot of times the machines interrupt my combos. Okay, dude. Oh no! There's a rebellion! What's that about a rebellion? I don't think it's working out anymore. Okay, it's there. Hang on, I'm gonna make that our active quest. Fight honor! Ah! Ow. I fight without honor. Hmm. And how do yeah, you fight? go. Who's left? We'll both bleed. No! My head! How's your head feel now? Can I like, 
hop up there. No, someone's okay. Let's try. Whoa! Oh, I'm in. I'm in a log. Okay, what do I want to do? Maybe the trip caster? Nope. Now I really want to I'll from range. How did he get over my trip caster? Yeah, come get me. Come on. Pain subsided. I didn't quite get it. I didn't quite get it. It's all right. She's still moving. There we go. Okay. Honestly, not bad. Once we finally got a shield down. <laughs> Hang on, guys. That's the heavy weapon symbol. Hang on. How do I get to it? I've got to get to it. How do I get to it? Here we go. Looks like they're getting ready to ship out these weapons in armor. Where have you gone now? I hope their operations if I get rid of them. I'm on it. It'd be terrible if something happens to them. Is this thing so inaccurate? Okay, I, may, I may want to get a little closer. There we go. Don't die. Don't die, Aloy. Uh-oh. Hold the fill. That guy's so far away. That's not fair. Okay, you're not. You're within range. Anyone else? Yeah, we got someone up there. We're gonna tag you. And we'll tag you. Is that it? I think that's it. That's a prisoner. Are you gonna run again? Oh, no good. Need ammo. up working out right like a foot why'd she stab him in his foot have I done the melee pits at all no I have not are they fun I might need to go try those with how much I've been playing melee thank you again DVG for the bits though Lotus hello I'm doing good Xaviera hello <laughs> um you never saw this DLC the DLC actually comes out what to, like tomorrow or something now so it's almost out we're in the main game still You can make this easier on the both of us. Stop hitting me! It does. It's kind of rude. All right, who else is still here? Gosh dang it! Who is that? Weapons and armor. So yeah, so weapons and armor in both of these places. Is there anything else to grab here? Oh, those are leaking. Those are ready to explode, Trick. So I may want to throw an arrow in there instead of instead of that. Yeah, destroy the weapon caches. Let's try a flaming arrow.
Okay, much better. All I can see is the scenery. I think we've still got some more, though. Bunch more of them over this way. They just keep throwing them at me. Um, can I like get up there? Or I don't know how to get up on this particular. Okay, here, here's how. Well, that got their attention. And then I go up and over, right? All the way around. They thought they were gonna be all protected over here. You A little faster, there. Aloy. Get ready for her! Will you? Not doing such a great job. No. Where are they? Where'd the person go? Did that even go? I lost. Got him. about that make her pay Get some good damage there we go huh <laughs> look in there come on charge up the spear again <laughs> almost Am I not doing it enough? No, not enough. There we go. Okay, nice. Is that another weapons cache? What is that? Been so long since you've seen this, no worries. I hope that you can end up getting back into it if you like it. The DLC is hopefully going to be pretty fun, but I can't really weigh in on it or what I think it's really going to be until I play through a good bit more of this game. <laughs> like when I talk back to the NPCs, sometimes they deserve it. I think Aloy would have a few things to say too. Piercing ammo is now available for one of your weapons. This type of ammo deals more damage to parts protected by armor, but is less effective at removing armor. Okay. So it's more... damage than anything. Then to all sons of Prometheus engineers and operatives, I've been hearing some belly aching. What? Whining about the Tanakh, the work, the conditions. The occasional limb loss to a machine when someone gets careless. I get it. It's been a long road. We've suffered. We'll continue to suffer. But we're close. This alliance will get us what we want, I promise. The Karja will pay for the Red Raids in blood. And so will all of their collaborators in the Vanguard and back in the claim. So shut up. Get back to work, and always remember, a reckoning is on the way. Okay. It sounds like the sons of Prometheus want blood. And the Karja are the target. The Vanguard, too. Let's see what else these guys have been up to. A 
this scroll. The map. It marks supply lines to different outposts. Interesting camp. I wasn't expecting this much lore here. Or just bandits. Rebels have been busy making weapons and armor. So I was right. This place makes weapons and armor. And yes, ships mount their troops. I should destroy as many munitions as possible. That should hurt the rebels' operations. Yeah, so I'm just trying to look for anything else that I can destroy up here. That should be all of them. There we go. Guess the rebels will have to resupply elsewhere. Nice. And now we get to quick save. I kind of miss Nil though. I miss Nil from the last game after completing these. <laughs> I should go back to Talana. Where'd the animal go? I don't know. It's running. Dismantle fire tripwires. Oh yeah, those were mine. <laughs> so the sons of Prometheus are coming after the Karja and the Vanguard. I need to find out more about their operations and stop them. The Vanguard is Aaron's unit. I should talk to him about this. I'll have to go talk to Aaron. I think probably before I go finish up this whole Poseidon thing, it's gonna be a, a whole quest, I'm sure. But I think even before that, I need to definitely go back to, like, Varl. I'll pick these up. Oh, what's going on? Is that one of the... You need some help? Are you stuck? Oh my. Stuck. Let's go. There's our writer friends. Hello, friends. Over there, huh? Nope, not friends. Not, not friendly. Not friendly. I think I just ran something over. Watch out. I'm not friendly either. Oh, I can tell it. I recommend stopping by Salt Light, a village north of the Grove. Their cooked meals give a soldier strength like nothing else. Maybe I'll check it out. Thanks. Smoke. Could be from a camp. Maybe I should check it out. All right, let's talk to some people here. Right, is this... Yeah, so we'll see Talana, and then there's a couple other side quests here. Um, guys, I'm gonna go take a quick little break. I need a refill on my water and such, but we will come back and keep on going and film a little bit more here. A couple more hours tonight, for sure. So, give me just a moment. I will be right back. Grab yourself a snack, st stretch break, food break, anything. Maybe YouTube break. See you for the next episode. I don't know. See you guys in a moment. I'll be right back. 